Hello there, it's Courtney and welcome back to another match day vlog back at Anfield. Today the Reds are taking on Aston Villa and deadline day is quite interesting for us Reds. We signed Ryan Gravenberch from Bayern Munich. Hopefully a really good promising player. You see, like he's quite young but he has played really well in the past. Um, had a bit of a dip in form since joining Bayern but that's just because he wasn't getting played much. So fingers crossed he's good for the Reds. But on a day, there will not be any Gravenberch, unfortunately. He was signed too late from to be registered to play this weekend. So hopefully next weekend we see him. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a difficult one a day, I feel like. We are missing Canar and Thiago through injury still. And then, obviously, after what happened at Newcastle, um, Virgil van Dijk is serving a suspension. So he will be unavailable for a day. So... Back four, going to be interesting. Um, the young lad that came on against Newcastle, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce his name, but he seems really good, to be honest. But I don't know if I'd start him. I think Gomez, Matt up, put them on, see how they got on, and as they get tired throughout the game, bring the young lads on. I think that would be a brilliant swap. Um, but yeah, and also I think... Um, after Newcastle, he definitely deserves it. Um, but Darwin Nunes, I think, starts today. Can't wait to see team news. It is a very interesting one today. Um, but yeah, hoping for Darwin to be on today starting. I think he deserves it. I think he looked really good against Newcastle. Confidence is there. He seems to be on fire. Bring him in. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a bit of a weird one, like I said. Um, before I head to Anfield though, I just want to have a quick word and say next weekend, Saturday the 9th of September, is the night of the kip out on the cop, which I am taking part in. I'll be sleeping out on the cop, literally in between the seats for one night to raise money for the LFC Foundation and homelessness. So it will be linked in the top corner, it'll be linked in the description where you can donate on my Just Given page, trying to raise as much money as I can for LFC foundation i've wanted them to do this sort of thing for years i know other clubs have done sleep outs in the stadium um and i just think it's a brilliant way to raise money and awareness and sort of give people a sense of what the homelessness go through when they're out on the streets but obviously it's not going to be anywhere close to it but it is going to be interesting to sort of get an experience for that while raising a lot of money to help out so make sure you go and check out if you could donate that would be amazing if not if you could just share the link even that would be great too um the more people that see it hopefully the more people that donate to the good cause so that being said i'm gonna head down anfield try and catch the team coach um try and get team news for you as soon as i can and then will be in Anfield, so I'm in the upper main stand again today, same seat as I was for the Bournemouth game, um, so yeah, it should be a decent view, it always is up there, um, but yeah, that being said, let's go. Out. We have Alison Becker in goal. We have Trent, Matter, Gomez, and Robertson in the back four. Then we have in midfield Topper Slide, McAllister, and Curtis Jones. Curtis Jones come back from injury. And then up front we have Salah, Darwin, Nunes, and Lewis Diaz. Made up Nunes getting the start. I think he's on fire at there. I think he's got his confidence. And I thought this in pre season. Obviously, now we've had the Newcastle game. And hopefully, he has a really good game today. I think. Fingers crossed it should be, um, but yeah, I'm going to head in now, so let's go in.
there we go. We won. 3 nil. Nice clean shoot for Alison and the defence and a really, really well deserved and long time deserved in my opinion goal for Soboslai. I think he's lining up to be one of the signings of the season for the whole of the Premier League. Really, really good looking player and he's got his goal today and what a goal it was. Long range, a little bit of a bounce on it. Brilliant goal, I think, for Dominic. And then, I'm yet to see the second one back, but I do believe it is now being awarded to Matty Cash as an own goal. So I'll have to watch that back. Um, but yeah, really good game. Obviously, we're missing Virgil. We're still missing Tiago. Like, Fir missing Virgil is a big miss for us. Obviously, Trent took a bit of a knock in that game towards the end as well. Yeah, we still managed to finish off with a clean sheet and three really good goals and I thought it played really well throughout that game. So it is a bit of a positive sign that if we do lose the odd big player now and again, we have still got the squad that can work around it and put a good performance out and get a win and a clean sheet. So really good performance from the team as a whole. Um, like I said, Soboslai, I think he's my man of the match. I know Mo had a really good game as well. And Nunes, although he didn't score, I think he looked quite promising considering it's his first start in a long time but Soboslai is just my man of the match for that game I think plays really well off the ball plays really well with the ball and that goal was a cracker I can't get my head around how good it was still um, my reaction to that I don't know if you can hear it because I've not looked back on the video yet probably his rivals when I celebrated Simicus scoring in the FA Cup final it was that mental I just kept screaming and screaming even when I turned off the camera I think I let out a scream um, but yeah made up made up for the team it just at the end you'll see in my little clip Jürgen went around and thanked the fans he didn't get any fist bumps but he was like thanks and was like come on and it was really good to see, he had like his hand on the crest, he was waving, he was like bowing sort of, it was really nice to see from Jürgen giving the thanks to the crowd for everything he's done over the past few games I think. Um, but yeah, now we're on to an international break and like I said, next weekend there's going to be loads of content coming from me, there's going to be a vlog, there's going to be Instagram lives, YouTube lives, it's going to be very busy on Saturday night as I will be sleeping out on the cop, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Any donations would be massively appreciated. Um, I'm pretty close to hitting a thousand pounds on it, which is mental. Um, so I think I've raised that much for the LFC Foundation and homelessness. It's just mental. Really happy I've helped raise that much, and quite looking forward to next weekend, especially if we get weather like this. Um, I have gone out and bought a lot of thermals just in case. Um, but yeah, you'll see all that next weekend. Um, but yeah, that being said. I'll see you all next weekend. Please donate, please share the link, whatever you can do to help. But yeah, see you next weekend. Bye! -bye.